Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. In other words, don't let the world shape you. Don't act like the world, talk like the world, be like the world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. This is the only verse that tells you how your life can be transformed. There is no other way to transform your life. Getting born again does not transform your life. It transforms your future, your eternal abode, but it does not transform your life. Your life, your everyday life is transformed by you renewing your mind to what? The Word of God, allowing you to become self-governing so that you know how to live your life. So a transformed life is a life that is lived differently, and it's only done that way by renewing of the mind. If the mind is not renewed, you are not living a transformed life. This is where people in church come into church, and for 30 years they're struggling and having what they call problems, Used to it was a sin. They don't want to say they're having problems with sin. Now they just have problems. So now they have problems like alcoholism, drug addictions, things like that. Sin, you know, sin in general. And then, but yet the reason they have that, because before they had the same problems, but now their spirits change. The difference now is they have conflict about it because they know they shouldn't be doing it. Why? Because their spirit's right, but their mind is still unrenewed. And when you get your mind renewed, then your body starts to line up. Remember when we first started? I said one of the things, problems people have is because you're not normal, but you try to act normal, meaning you try to act like everybody else. And that's exactly what happened to the Israelites. They said, God, we want a king. God said, I don't want you to have a king. I want to be your king. He said, they all said, no, we want a king because we want to be like all the other nations. And God said, then you will be like the other nations, and I'll give you a king you deserve. And they got Saul, okay, which was one of their problems. And so we can see. See, the thing is, people that are normal, meaning still functioning like the world, are not normal Christians. Normal Christians are not normal people. You understand? Normal Christians are Christ-like and have the fruit of the Spirit living through their body, And they manifest the fruit of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit, all of these aspects and characteristics of the Spirit of God. Amen. All right? Now, so, he says that by the renewing of your mind, so that you can prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Until your mind is renewed to the Word of God, you cannot prove the will of God. 